I'm up here fishing on Lake of the Woods right now. We're just dragging some jigs and hey, what can you say about Lake of the Woods other than that it's a walleye factory. There's fish everywhere. You can catch them quite often how you want to catch them, whether it's sand, rock, you want to jig, you want to pull spinners. There's a lot of ways to get it done. But what if you're not on a walleye factory? What if you're fishing a small natural lake in Minnesota? Maybe you're on a reservoir that has walleyes in it, but they're simply not as abundant as they are in some of the big systems that we're always seeing people film on and talk about. Well, there's a couple ways to answer that question and I'll take a stab at it because I've been there too. I've been a person that's maybe at a resort with family and friends. Uh, maybe I'm fishing my home lake uh, or areas in southern Minnesota that tend not to have a lot of walleyes in them. First and foremost, I think the best advice I could give anybody to catching more walleyes on a body of water that doesn't have a ton of them in them is to fish during the right times. You're simply not going to have great day bites on a lot of these systems, number one, and you're simply not going to be able to catch walleyes at will throughout most of the year. You're gonna to have to focus your efforts seasonally, first and foremost. That might be springtime, uh, it might be a, a time of year where walleyes will be moving shallower, they're more active, they're more abundant, and you're probably, once it does come time for the summer months to fish, to be focusing your efforts into key low light periods. You're just not gonna be able to go out and slam walleyes during midday, high noon, high skies, clear water uh, in, in areas that just don't have a lot of walleyes in them. Those, those walleyes are gonna wait to feed during key periods. They're gonna be on edges of so weed lines, they're gonna be on breaks, structural elements like that. I think the second piece of advice I could give you is to check lots of spots learn your electronics and check a lot of areas. So often on these lakes, whether there's a great lake master map for them or not, there are areas that hide from the mapping. It is your job, your goal in those lakes that don't have a ton of walleyes to find the areas where other people aren't. So often one of the main reasons there's not as many walleyes in these lakes is because it's a highly competitive situation. Other people are fishing for the same fish you are and there's just not enough of them to go around. So you need to constantly check spots and learn not just where a rock pile is, but learn how the rock pile might connect up to a, a shallower sandy shoal. Learn what side of the rock pile has big rubble on it versus chunk rock. Learn what part of the rock pile feathers into sand and gravel off to the other end versus deep water mud. Those are the details and the spots that you'll need to learn better than just what your initial mapping can show you so that you can excel on bodies of water where there's just not a ton of walleyes in them.